right, so another review. Hopefully I'll have one more out today. I don't know. Um, if not, tomorrow. Um, I have the full Yap Canterbury KJV King James Version, authorized version, um, in front of me. And this is the newest offering from Skyler. Uh, they've had previous full Yap editions, but unfortunately they were not uh, a real full Yap Bible. The newest offerings are full Yap, at least the one I got. But this is a one-off. This actually has some different than what I think a lot of other people got. This Bible is advertised to have raised tubs. Other pictures show it with raised tubs. This one did not come with raised tubs. And I think it was just maybe an oversight um, that somebody putting it together just didn't do something right. Um, I'm not sure where these are done. Maybe the same place that Arl Allen gets some other stuff done. And that's why it happened that way. But it does come in a clamshell box. Let me take it out. And for me personally, I, I don't like raised tubs. I used to love them and then I just kind of got over that. Um, I think my love for raised tubs came from the old Nelson Signature Series and then Church Bible Publishers started doing it. <clears throat> now, I don't mind having them. I still like them, but I still would prefer um, the old R.L. Allen classic look with no raised tubs. And as you can see, if I do a side view here, there's no raised tubs. You will see tooled lines, but it's just like if you put your finger over those false hubs or false bands on other Bibles. The only one that kind of sticks out a little bit is this one, but that's because the headband is right there on the other side, which is a red uh, headband. You got red head and tail bands. Uh, you got three double satin ribbons, the wider ones from Beresford. The liner is red. Uh, one thing I was kind of disappointed with, um, I was excited about this, the pleated corners, and they're done very nice. What I was disappointed about on this one, though, was the gold um, inside gilt line, which on this side is fine, but on the back end, um, you'll see, hopefully, it actually goes right onto the, it goes underneath and onto the cover. You can see that separation where it's not actually in the liner, it's on the cover. Not a huge deal for me, that doesn't that doesn't bother me, but I do have to point that out. Because when, when somebody pays, you know, $230 for a Bible, um, and somebody, when somebody pays 230 bucks for a, a Bible, somebody else might get really upset with something like that. Quality control needs to be called out and i'm sure you know skylar wants to hear that from people that review bibles they want to know okay you know what do we need to improve on well, i'd say quality control in that just in that area at least and definitely with the raised tubs but for me i like it without the raised tubs because it does lay flatter than if you do have the raised tubs the raised tubs with edge lining when you have both of them it seems to cause more of a curve but what i've noticed about this is um it seems like the print is darker than some of the, the older offerings, even my um, 36 GSM Canterbury, uh, which is one of my beater Bibles I left back at the house because I'm out of town right now. But um, it's really nice and clean. The paper's nice. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of comparison videos later this week because there's a, there's a paper in a certain Bible that I really like that... I'd actually rather have than this paper, although this paper would probably last longer. But it is a red letter edition, but it is very consistent. Of course, there's going to be some kind of inconsistency, um, but it's so um, minimal that really you don't you don't see it. Like I really, I don't know. I guess I could look through here and try to find something, but I don't want to waste time on the video. Um, so. There's not enough of a difference to really even point it out. Uh, it looks like they triple sprayed the art gilding because it's right. It's really nice and deep and dark, done really well. One thing I've noticed, and you'll see this when I do the review of the NASB Foley App Edition, is that the NASB does not have uh, the ruled paper in the back, whereas the King James does, which is nice. It's not too many pages, but it's it's some pages which I don't see why they did that with the KJV and not with uh, the NASB. Um, it'd be nice to see them use the thicker paper on this like they do in the wide margins. But uh, you do have, I'm not gonna like go through a whole review on the Canterbury. I reviewed it years ago, but 
course you have your Bible maps, which are always done nice. Um, these go into the gutter. There's no separation on this one, uh, but some of these do have separation. Uh, this one doesn't. Not a big problem. You know, usually I'm going to use a, a Bible Atlas map if I want to get that deep into like uh, using maps and stuff. Uh, Concordance, still very small print. A lot of people complain about it. Um, for me, I have good eyesight, Lord willing. You know, it stays that way, so it's not a big deal for me. I can read it just fine, but I can see why that would be really a, an issue for a lot of folks. Um, and then you still do have the King's English. And I was just at it a second ago. The King's English gives you some good definitions of words that really don't use today um, and uh, it gives you those definitions to help you out so that way uh, it'd be nice to actually see that actually used down here where your cross references are at if they would put the definitions down here somehow but maybe that'll be done sometime in the future or they'll just keep it the way it is but overall very nice Bible it's Skylar you're not gonna be I'm telling you guys, when it comes to quality Bibles, um, the best Bibles out there, I'm, I mean, overall are going to be your Schuyler Bibles. If you're looking for a Bible that is just extremely well built, um, with top quality um, leather, paper, I mean, just everything, ribbons, the binding, uh, the way they stitch it, the, everything that's used and the way it's done, I don't think you're going to beat Schuyler. Um, I'd say R.L. Allen, for the most part, is up there with them, but sometimes you just, uh, you get a bad, um, get a bad offering from uh, R.L. Allen every once in a while, so, uh, but for the most part, R.L. Allen is, is up there with Skyler, but I would say Skyler's probably at the top of the chain as far as high-quality Bibles, and I love the Jerusalem cross, uh, it's on the side in gold, this is a, a, a gold gilding with red underneath, um, you'll see on the NASB, it's silver with red underneath, but this is, uh, gold. And then when you open it, of course, it's got that triple sprayed red and these beautiful Beresford ribbons and your drop caps. Everything seems a little bit darker, which is really nice, crisper, um, a little bit bolder, I would say. Well, here we go. There's some inconsistency in the black that shows up. It's not a huge difference, nothing to like cry over or nothing like that, but that over here is really dark. Over here, it's a little bit lighter. And I think the camera's actually picking that up. But by no means does it um, cause any problems at all. So just trying to make these reviews less than 10 minutes. So that's the review of the one-off of the Canterbury uh, Full Yap. It is a Full Yap Bible. This one doesn't have raised tubs, which is kind of cool. I don't like the raised tubs as much as I do just the tooled hubs. And I'll, I will compare this to uh, a couple of other Skylar Bibles that have hubs. And this was supposed to have it, just doesn't have it. Um, but I will compare the NASB full yap, and you'll see the difference just when I lay it on top, how much those hubs come out on the NASB. And then I will show you another Skylar with the hubs. But yeah, there's you can feel something there, but it's, it's kind of like those false hubs you see on other bibles but yeah that's it guys so yeah it's a great bible i'm not downplaying it because of something that was just overlooked other than that this bible is going to be put to good use and uh, until next time guys good day god bless